What's up, folks? Welcome back to the channel. So, OpenAI released ChatGPT Tasks, which is essentially AI engines brought to the ChatGPT interface. So now you can schedule some tasks and have ChatGPT do something repetitively across some frequency, like every day, every week, every month, etc. And essentially, it's all about scheduling tasks that are supported now in ChatGPT Web. You can do that on the desktop apps that you have, and it can create tasks for itself to run later, which is pretty cool. Uh, and they can be triggered at specific times. They can be executed regardless uh, of whether or not the user is currently online. So it can be working for you 24 seven. And we can check out some stuff and see how to set that up. So I'm gonna move on to catch the tasks here. And what we're gonna do to, to start, if you click on the top right here on your icon for your account, you're gonna see tasks. And I have a couple of them right now set up. So AI tools, uh, checking some prices of some uh, cryptocurrency stuff, and uh, an update on AI large language models. These are some tests that I was doing just to check out if this thing could work. I had actually have one that should run at 1215, which is in six minutes. So it'd be interesting to see it actually, you know, work, but to actually do the task is super simple. All you have to do is when you're here on this ChatGPT tasks, where you can activate easily by just essentially, if I click on any of those, I open up this dashboard, that's the tasks dashboard, and essentially is GPT-40 with scheduled tasks. And I can come here and say, create a task for uh, checking hacker news for uh, the recent news about LLM technology. I don't know, something random like that. And I can send that out. And what's gonna happen is the model is gonna create a task. So creating a task opens up this little UI little button here, which if I click, I can edit, pause, I can view all the tasks. So if I click on edit, I have the name of the task that was created, the description of that task, the schedule of that task, which can be doesn't repeat daily, weekly, monthly, annually, or custom. And we can click on the timing of that task. So when it happens in that particular day. So in this case is running at 9am. I'm fine with that. So I can I, since I did not do anything to change here, I don't have to save it. But if I change it to like 9.15, I could save it. So now it's scheduled to run at 9.15, right? So that's the basics of tasks. I see, I've seen some cool examples on Twitter, sorry, X, about these tasks. Like, for example, if I scroll up here, one of my favorites was checking stock price for something. So there you go. I haven't tested this one yet. Hopefully, I'll be able to test it but essentially you can have it check some price of something, or it can help you with setting up, you know, automated decision-making for certain things by giving you the insight when you need it. It's pretty interesting. I mean, I feel like 2025 might be the year of AI agents. So it's interesting to see what's being done, what's been done in the field right now with this stuff. So this is pretty cool. And if I, let me just remove this. So we can have, what's cool about this is that you can do it for a whole bunch of different things. So for example, I could have it do like a report with the canvas feature. Like for example, if I come over here and I say, uh, every day at uh, 0015, write a report on canvas about the latest, I don't know, trends on uh, latest trends on some topic. I don't know. What kind of topics am I interested in? Ah, 3D printing. Oh, maybe latest trends on 3D printing or like, yeah, why not? Latest trends on robotics, for example, right? And it's going to create the task. And now we can edit that task and we can see the name, the instruction, the schedule everything great. And we could come over here in custom. And for some reason, it says unable to display message due to an error. That's not great. So let's try it again. So we're gonna try this again. So GPT-40 with tasks, try it again with tasks. Let's see if it works. Nope. 
does not work so obviously this is like the they just released it so it's not going to be working perfectly yet i mean it has some potential of doing some cool stuff so obviously it's interesting so we can add it i can come over here in custom and i want to update but it's not letting me update i have no idea why but i mean it's just they just released it right so obviously there's gonna be some some issues <laughs> And I mean, I guess this is it's pretty neat. You have now essentially ChatGPT being able to work for you in a way to perform a certain type of task every day. And uh, that's how you, you get that done. And I'm going to wait one more minute just because when it's midnight 15, we're going to be able to see a task get executed. Because for some reason at midnight, they jump straight into, instead of going, the schedule is supposed to be every five minutes, I think. If I go here on schedule, I have it every, oh no, the schedules are, they jump 15 minutes. So I have one for midnight 15 and I want to see it executed. Let's see how well it works. So we're going to literally wait like a few more seconds because at midnight 15, if I update this page, ah, oh, yeah, my robotics, right, my robotics task reappeared here. That's interesting. If I click on custom, it gives me the error again. <laughs> but all right, so I'm not gonna try to edit this again. Um, but what I would like to do is to see if the task that I set for midnight fifteen is going to actually happen. There we go. So here we go. Every day, write a report on Canvas about latest trends on robotics. Yes, yes. So folks, latest trends on robotics. Midnight 15 triggered the task. So here's the task and latest trends on robotics, integration of artificial intelligence, humanoid robots, public spaces. I mean, this is pretty good, it's pretty good. The AI tool search trends. That's another task I have for midnight 15. Uh, January 2025, AI2's landscape is experiencing a bunch of developments, AI search tools, AI power productivity tools, AI and SEO, conversational interfaces, trend analysis, job search assistance, and finally, another daily robotics trends rep report because I duplicated that task by accident. And I think there's another one. Yes, the Dodge Price. <laughs> All right, this is pretty cool. So as you can see, folks, I can see the price of this random uh, stock price or cryptocurrency, whatever it is, over a certain period. And that's this is, I guess this is pretty cool, right? This is pretty neat. So it was at so it was right when I bought it, it was right kind of like in the middle of this. Okay, awesome. So it's pretty cool. It works. And yeah, this is pretty neat to be able to have these things. Imagine having like this feed of just the stuff that you care about across whatever topic. And uh, the tasks pretty neat. Clearly it works. So yeah, I'm going to be setting up a few tasks that I see the value for this thing. Like for example, this, just having this, being able to access this, like looking like this easily. I mean, this looks beautiful. This is pretty nice. I wanted to see this example work. So this is pretty cool to see. And yeah, the ability to just schedule stuff to work repeatedly across examples of things they would like to see done. is pretty nice and super easy to set up. Again, uh, you can click on GPT-40 with schedule tasks, or you can come over here on top. You can click on tasks. These are the tests that I have running right now. And um, I'm going to, for example, take this one and I want to double like duplicate. So I have one that's update on AI large language models. I'm going to change that. Let's say check price of Solana. And let's say every day, let's say every week on Monday at, I don't know, uh, Chu check the price of Solana cryptocurrency. Not like I don't have any invested interest. I just think it's kind of fun, fun example. 
and every day every Monday so we're gonna put on Monday yeah, weekly 1 p.m yeah 1 p.m no I, I set it to 2 so let's put it 2 p.m and we save it and now we've created a task and that's how easy it is to set up a task with HPT. so that's it like and subscribe cheers